All right, so what did we do? We created a secret, all right? We created a policy. We went ahead and created a authentication mechanism to find a role, connect that role with bunch of parameters, like which namespace it should be bounded with and all of that so that uh, the service account is actually responsible for communicating between your vault and the Kubernetes cluster. I hope this makes sense so far. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring up my terminal. All right. And where is my IntelliJ? Here you go. I want to deploy an application. If you look at my pods, I don't have any pods. Okay. Not even in default namespace. This I don't care about. So I'm going to delete it. Okay. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to apply this guy. Okay. So it's going to be kubectl apply hyphen f file name. What is my file name? Deploy dot yaml. All right. Deployment is created. Okay. The pod is coming up and you see that it has got only one container. All right. But that's fine. And deployment is also created. Uh, slowly this pod would also come into the running state at the moment it's listening on port 8000 8, and yeah bingo we have got this pod now this pod if you exec um, it would say that if you try to access by the way vault um, uh, directory is vault.secret that's where all your secrets would be there okay no such files perfect that is completely fine because we haven't done anything which should include the uh, file so what i'm gonna do now is okay i'm gonna bring up my terminal again and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply a patch what does the patch do patch apply some annotation on top of your uh, deployment if you look at the patch you see over here you've got three annotation inject is true which means that enables the vault agent injector service this is where this guy which is sitting from quite a quite a long gonna come into the picture all right so this is gonna talk to this injector which is deployed into this guy okay default this guy right now it has only got one container it is gonna have multiple containers then what we have is which role is responsible for fetching the secrets from vault and talking to the kubernetes cluster internal app is the role if you go back to our uh, UI and if you go to the access, you see that in the, in the Kubernetes internal app is the role. Okay. So this is the internal and where does it needs to fetch all the secrets from in internal database config? What does that mean? Go to secrets, internal database config. This is where all our secrets are there. Perfect. Now let's try to apply the patch. How would that work? kubectl apply, uh, patch deployment. What is the name of the deployment? Go back and check or chart. Um, what is the patch? Patch is this one. If you apply this, okay, mm, let's just correct the name, which is patch.yaml, perfect. Deployment is patched. If you come back over here, you would see that this would try to re-trigger it again. And now you see there are two, two containers coming up now, okay? And if you try to get the logs, you would see that logs are there and it, 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 both of them generate some logs, okay? Now, if you try to log into this particular pod and go to vaults, secrets, you would see that cat database config generates the value which was there the map is uh, the data is uh, value which is defined in our vault value and our our value is uh, the, the 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 secret is key and the value had it been some other values it would have pulled in the values from there also if I create a new version let's suppose key create a key to value to uh, after every um, deployment or a few seconds it would start fetching all the details right from here right now it hasn't got any if you restart this container again this should be able to fetch all the details from the um, 
vault. So this is how your pod or application running as a container can start fetching all the secrets from the vault. I hope this is informative. I'm gonna let you digest this information and uh, let me know if it makes sense or if, if in case you you weren't able to deploy this properly on your system leave a comment i'm pretty much active over there all right yeah that's about it i hope this is informative thank you